Throughout history, music has been an integral part of communicating and forming connections. Musicians have been using their art not only to help educate and inspire people, but as a form of protest to oppression, as we've seen in South Africa's history as well. It's been the case as well for many South African artists, as I've been saying, who during the apartheid era would use their music to speak out the injustices of the time. To help us reflect more on that period, I'm joined tonight by an anti-apartheid activist in his own right and legendary musician, Mr. Sipo Hotsticks Mabu. Say a very good evening to you, sir. Welcome to News of Prime. Grateful for your time tonight. Let's go back a few decades to when you became an artist in the formal sense and how you then used your artistry to speak out against the ills of the time. Uh, good afternoon, Tembe Gile, and to your viewers as well. And thank you very much for inviting me. Um, yeah, this is quite an... Um, a subject of concern, obviously, because uh, we we would have imagined as musicians then that after we've made the, the, the kind of contributions through our music, uh, South Africa would remain a united society. Unfortunately, South Africa remains a fractured society up to today because, uh, as you rightly say, said earlier on, the, the, uh, there are two... Uh, the, the, these divisions are clear for everyone to see. I mean, while the Africaners will go up to the fourth track of the monument to celebrate Africana Dome, the, the South African government is trying here to unite people to celebrate together. So that in itself doesn't play the role that we would have imagined as musicians, you know, including Africana musicians, by the way. I had been part of a group of young Afrikaans musicians who had driven uh, a, a movement called the Fru Full Freyhe uh, movement mm -hmm. that uh, that sought to 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 deny um, the the nationalist government the right to continue with the Afrikaans sorry with the apartheid system. And you mentioned that you are somewhat disappointed at just how little perhaps to paraphrase has been achieved as far as reconciliation in this country what have you found most disappointing about that well what's most disappointing is to see the Africanos going out to the Fort Rekerwachte monument and not a, a majority of white people not even attending any any events that some seek, seek to unite South Africans I mean Today should have been a, a day of reconciliation where the majority of people are part of this whole celebration, black and white. However, you still see a fractured society where others will be celebrating on their own and the blacks on the, uh, on the other side. Mm -hmm. Do you think there was an underestimation when 1994 came of what it would take to fully reconcile? Well... Perhaps yes, there was because we had the the figurehead of Nelson Mandela, who many of us revered and uh, would have imagined that the number of people believed that he was a reconciler and he would unite South Africa. Unfortunately, with his passing and his going on, people decided no, nothing much has been attained, and this freedom is is somewhat vapor. So we haven't, we haven't done as much as we should have. Mm -hmm. And we do hope that those who are in power will continuously engage other societies to try and find a way out of this malice that is uh, per 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 pervading our society. What then becomes the role of music and the broader art space in trying to move us in that direction, do you think? Music will always remain a voice of a society. Poets, poets will always remain voices of society. Artists in general should continue, should continue to influence direction into how society view itself. Because without the artists actually playing the role of reconciliation, it's going to be very, very difficult for people to understand how we intersperse ourselves as a people. So musicians must continue to uh, to drive. Uh, the 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 uh, um, the will mm -hmm. of a people to become a society that is united. 
And Mr. Mabusa, when we talk often about art and capturing history, we refer to books, we refer, that's literature, we refer to museums as places to visit for history, but music is also key in that, isn't it? Because, for example, when you listen to a song like Brenda Fassi's, uh My Black President, I'm a Good Black no. Woman, those songs yes. capture a time in the story of South Africa, and to a large degree in the last 20 years or so, it can be argued that we've moved away from telling those stories anew, perhaps, through music. Do you agree? Yes, I do agree, absolutely. I think we've stopped realizing the role that we should, we should uh, uh, be part of the social cohesion that we all so much espouse. Um, yes, you mentioned Brenda Fassi, but however, there were also other artists like Johnny Clegg. The young mm -hmm. white people understood, you know, only understood that there was a Nelson Mandela and others who were in prison when Johnny sang that song as in Bonanga. And there were musicians all over the world you know, who united to, to assist South Africans to, to break down apartheid. And music will always be central to every society in actually educating people about how a society should look like or should feel like. Do you think we can circle back to that part where art was so influential in the body politics of the country and telling the story of the nation and capturing the mood? Well... We should, we should, we should, we should push ourselves. The, the older generation of musicians should be catalysts, should be central in educating the younger people to say, we have a role much more than just a party. You know, our role is not just about celebrating party mode and freedom without actually educating society as to how important we talk about the things that affect us as a people. And I, I'd love to urge some of the younger, successful, prosperous young musicians to go out there and speak about their own plight, their own challenges, and ensuring that uh, they, they use music to, to bring to, to attention. Mr. Sipahat Mabusa, so grateful for your time on this day of reconciliation, and congratulations on that stunning GQ magazine cover. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm humbled. Thank you, Tanya Good to speak to you. Thank you.